How you doing? My name is Richard Hurst. I'm with Flick Independent School and I just want to start these videos that will give you some knowledge and will hopefully teach you some stuff but also having fun in the kitchen is a very important. But having fun in the kitchen it means there's a lot of safety and sanitation issues that may occur. So I'm gonna do a little walkthrough before a series of videos will come and this will be for you guys. So if you have anything or any questions, uh, once we get back to classes, you always can come and ask any questions. We have four experts in our field that you will see the, the videos. Our wellness manager, Janelle Reeves. We have our director of Boca, that her name is Tiffany. And our chef at Fort Lauderdale, that his name is Chef Chino. Those are uh, the experts, plus all our employees, they have been trained for different things and safety practices. And I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you safety practices in the house, um, in the schools or in any industrial kitchen, we go above and beyond and have other, other practices that will be more intense. So I just wanna start with, um, don't start any Thing in the kitchen without your parents please um, or supervision from them have their permission the kitchen is a really dangerous place you're playing with fire you're playing with heat you're playing with knives and you can get injured really bad and trust me by experience I have many burns many cuts so I just want to start with that parents please watch out and as, as the more that they practice, you're gonna see that they get better and more comfortable. And it's about um, thinking what you're going through. Well, the first thing is sanitation. Sanitation is a really broad one. And the first thing that you wanna do is wash your hands. Quick reference, and I know everybody have been doing it. You rinse your hands, you put your soap, and you're gonna wash them thoroughly for 20 seconds minimum. 20 seconds, I know with all the news and everything, they've been saying 20 seconds or two times happy birthday. So let's make sure that we do, um, we're washing it for 20 seconds. And once you're done, basically you're gonna grab your paper towel and close your, your sink with a towel that you just use because you, you use it with dirty hands to turn it on, to turn it off. Just don't touch it again because then your, your hands are gonna be dirty again. We're gonna talk a little bit about temperature abuse. When you're gonna pull stuff from the refrigerator, any products that you're gonna use that are refrigerated, don't leave it outside more than 20 to 30 minutes. Only pull out what you're gonna use in that time. That's very important because temperature abuse will create more bacteria. So the temperature that if it's lower than 40 degrees, that's why your, your refrigerators are. You wanna keep it as long as possible in that temperature. And if it's a hot item, you wanna keep it above 135 degrees. So it's gotta be hot food hot, cold food cold. Thawing, that's a big controversy. And sometimes us as parents, we come in the morning, we're gonna cook chicken at night, so we pull it out of the freezer, we leave it outside all day, very wrong. It can potentially grow a lot of bacteria. So there's three ways that you can uh, defrost something. It will be during the cooking process. It will be over running water, or it can be on the refrigerator a couple of days before or the day before you leave it on the refrigerator and it will thaw correctly. So now we're gonna go through a little tour of the kitchen, some safety, um, items that we're gonna go through and very important again refrigerator always got to be cold making sure that it gets done you're gonna see in some of the videos that we're gonna use the oven the stove and a mixer uh, mixer is very important that when it's on you never put anything in always shut it off once you want to get in. Once it's on, you put your hand or something, it will injure really bad. So best practice with that is just when it's off only. And when you 
you're cleaning it or it's off, try to unplug it so it doesn't turn on accidentally. We hit the on button and my hand and our hands are in there. So very important. Hot items, the stove, um, oven mints, don't use towels to grab stuff. Oven mints are really important. So there's three things that you can, you're gonna be able to use it. So when you have a, a hot pot, that is steaming. If I take it with my hands, that steam will come and burn all you. So uh, using the oven mitts, staying back, always open it to the other side, okay? And then you gotta wait until all that steam. If you open it when it's coming, that steam will hit you on the face or on the arm and it can get you burned. When you're, there's something wrong with this part over here. If I'm walking through and I hit it accidentally, hot stuff, it will spill, burn all of it. So really watch out with that. Always when you're cooking, with ha handles in, never outside. Always in and be careful with that. If you have it onto another stove and you have something cooking over here, the handle will get hot. So when you have those practice, you can use the oven mitts to kind of watch those. When you're pulling stuff out of the oven, so on the oven, 